while our current collaboration with Design Society is the most ambitious, The BNA has already many different relationships with a number of institutions in, um, in other cities like Beijing, Shanghai or um, uh, Xi'an. But in fact, we never really engaged with Shenzhen apart from the exhibition um, China Design Now, where Shenzhen was, was actually featured as one of the three cities uh, in 2008 for its graphic uh, design scene. So it was a very good opportunity to actually engage with the city with what is happening uh, here as a very young, fast city with this manufacturing base, with this potential uh, for growth in the, in the design scene. Um, I would also say Shenzhen is an interesting location uh, because it is placed in the PRD uh, region. It's very close to Guangzhou, Macau, Hong Kong. So somehow it gives uh, the possibility for, for this collaboration and design society to really be a reference point for the region um, in relation to design. We believe that in the future we need to connect people and creative energy together and people need to exchange their ideas and to get inspiration from each other. So Design Society is really aiming to create uh, a platform for exchange and for the sharing of creative knowledge and experiences and uh, to facilitate uh, uh, the growth of the city, of the urban culture, and to provide enjoyment and uh, um, venue for the public and to um, get inspired by all those creative talents. I think for the past five years, what we have been doing is really to establish a cultural institution and platform here uh, in Shenzhen to catch up a little bit to the international um, practices. Because previously, um, China has its own institution and museum mechanisms, and it's not uh, speaking the same language with the international institutions. So we really want to bring the advanced international um, cultural practices in China. So we spend a lot of time to reinforce different kinds of practices, researches, and also learning, education activities, etc. I think there are um, a few differences, obviously, between the uh, Chinese and the UK in terms of uh, museum, museum management, um, and general, um, general the, the way um, uh, visitors also engage with uh, with museums. I would say that um, exhibitions uh, tend to be um, maybe uh, very much based on objects, on the display of objects, in um, in very um, interesting and engaging way. But maybe um, there is less a um, maybe critical uh, interpretation of, uh, of the objects and how you can use them in ways that can really um, narrate a story, but also raise uh, some problems, uh, some issues, make people think about what they are, uh, what they are seeing. Um, there is a uh, maybe much stronger tradition uh, in the UK and in the VNA to use exhibitions as uh, a tool of um, enjoyment, but also of understanding, maybe uh, also tackling some of the critical issues of our age. And I think design society will definitely uh, go in this, in this direction. And it's quite uh, a novelty, uh, but other institutions are definitely embarking in this, in this area. I would also say that um, in terms of learning and public program, um, China maybe has a shorter tradition in uh, this respect and slightly different. Uh, museums were more uh, in uh, a education or educator capacity. Uh, so people go on tours, they go on uh, um, 
looking and visiting exhibitions. Um, but what we, we have been trying to do is really to have a much more diversified um, offer that can cater to family and kids, to professionals, to young uh, teenagers, for example, and really trying to use uh, the exhibitions in much more creative and innovative ways. So China nowadays is facing lots of problems, like urgent matters, such as pollution, such as population, and such as uh, like a new emerging generation and what's their needs for culture and uh, their increase um, to knowledge, etc. And, and so which we find a coincidence with DNA um, after the Industrial Revolution found itself uh, with the mission to really transform the made in England to create it in England. And the collaboration focused more on the back of our house uh, parts rather than just exhibitions. Um, because the project uh, here and the collaboration with China Merchants uh, Sherco um, has really been a turning point for the VNA's international strategies and engagement in, uh, in China. It is a project of a completely different scale and ambition and really provided the opportunity to work on uh, a long-term basis with a Chinese partner um, exchanging and sharing expertise and knowledge and also collections because the VNA gallery will have uh, objects from the permanent collection of, uh, of the VNA. So it was a completely different model, prob probably the first of its kind between a UK institution and a Chinese partner. And really the uh, beauty of this project has been uh, trying to develop a cross-cultural dialogue. This is something that I think all of us will, uh, will take as, uh, as a life-changing uh, opportunity, a very uh, inspiring, very exciting adventure that um, uh, is not so often uh, found in your professional career. Um, it's such a unique experience of trying to, um, uh, to put together uh, different minds and different uh, backgrounds and really trying to work uh, towards something uh, common and shared.